Hello people. In this video, let us look at pseudomyxoma peritoni. What is this myxoma? Myxoma actually like you have heard atrial myxoma etc. in the heart, right? It's actually referring to primitive connective tissue. <clears throat> what is myxoma? Myxoma actually refers to primitive connective tissue okay but here actually what they are referring to is accumulation of mucus secreting tumor cells within the abdomen this is the actual condition what is pseudomyxoma peritoni it is accumulation of mucus secreting tumor cells within the abdomen within the peritoni within the peritoneum so that is what pseudomyxoma peritoni so here you can see how the peritoneum or the abdomen is full of these yellow colored mucus secreting cells mucinous tumor from where is it all starting look at this it starts number one here they have written it starts from the appendix so that is the like the neoplastic transformation of the appendiceal goblet cells and there is a development of a tumor inside the appendix that is the primary mucinous tumor develops within the appendix okay now this ruptures okay this ruptures remember people can you see here this is rupturing and all these mucus secreting cells are depositing in the abdomen right so there's jelly like substance everywhere okay and these tumor cells redistribute accumulate within the dependent portions of the peritoneal cavity okay and there will be they have shown here that they are accumulating everywhere okay this is enough for us so this is what is pseudo myxoma peritoni okay pseudo myxoma peritoni so mucinous cells from the appendix are depositing everywhere in the peritoneum okay so whenever there is a cystic neoplasm of the appendix or a mucosal of the appendix or a mucinous cyst adenoma of the appendix it's what everything is same it spread it uh, it ruptures and it is going to deposit these mucus secreting cells in the peritoneum so this will result in pseudomyxoma peritoni okay this also can spread to the uh, ovaries okay so that is why you should remember some people think that it is from the ovaries that it is coming but most of the people are saying it is from the appendix the cells will rupture okay and deposit everywhere so this you understood basically this is very slow growing these things are very slow growing it is locally malignant it is malignant it's locally malignant extra peritoneal spread will not happen but within the peritoneum it is spreading so the peritoneal cavity is filled with mucus sorry mucoid substance jelly like brownish or yellow so here brownish or yellow mucus so mucoid deposits are there remember it is not fluid it's mucoid substance jelly like okay this is very important to understand now what are the clinical features here they will have slow painless progressive abdominal distension there is no shifting dullness because it is not filled with fluid it is just filled with jelly like material this is more common in female and this can also lead to intestinal obstruction they can also present with features of intestinal obstruction so look at the common sites ovary appendix intestine uterus uracus what is uracus here you can see in the fetus actually there'll be this uh, umbilicus to urinary bladder there's some uracus opening in the uracus leading to the bladder so uracus is basically a remnant of the allantois a canal that drains the urinary bladder of the fetus that joins and runs with the umbilical cord Okay, so a remnant of all this is the uracus looks like. Okay, hope we said that right. So here also you can have the deposit. So pseudomyxoma peritoneum. How will you treat? Now we have moved on to the treatment. Are you with us? Treat. How will you treat? Surgery is the main treatment here. Remember, but when you open the abdomen and remove, what you'll get? Many jelly, jelly, jelly. Open the abdomen and remove lot of jelly. so be, um, masses of jelly is scooped out scooped out appendectomy you will do ovarectomy you will do omentectomy you will do what you want to remove say you are removing appendix ovary omentum i don't like this too many things are being removed right then debulking of mass to be done 
then you can instill radioactive isotope so that it doesn't spread again. Now they are removing a lot of stuff and they are putting in a lot of stuff like radioactive isotopes. So yellow apron that is omentum should be removed that only they are saying here yeah, omentectomy. Okay. So masses of jelly that brown and yellow jelly they will remove. Okay. How will you treat? Aggressive surgery is the main mode of treatment. Masses of tumor jelly should be resected or scooped out. Remember this is debulking. De thus debulking, bilateral oophorectomy, both sides of over ovaries removed, appendix removed, omentum removed. All this they will do. Combination re chemotherapy using cisplatin, intraperitoneum, uh, intraperitoneal alkylating agents you can use as chemotherapy. You can also give radiotherapy we saw here, right? Radioactive isotopes, okay. Then, um, but after doing all this, it can recur because the tumor is locally malignant. So that's all about pseudomyxoma peritoni. You will remove all these jelly-like substances, but again, it can recur. Okay. Bye-bye.